Hi everyone, I'm here to give you a tour of my closet. So basically the way I organize my closet is it's based on the type of clothing. So I have one section for tops, I have another section for pants, I have another section for skirts or shorts, and then I have a section for jackets and workout clothes. The first thing I'm going to show you is my top section. I have about 35 tops in total. Now these can be mixed and matched and I can wear multiple times. In this section, we have tops that have sleeves on it or anything that is not scrappy. So here I have a big t-shirt, I have crop top shirts. As you can see, it ranges from cream, white, blue, and then mostly black. Then in this section, I have my strappy tops that range from cream, red to black, and then a bit of navy. And then next, I have my bottoms. All of these bottoms aren't of the same style. It really varies. I have about 25 bottoms in my closet that I can mix and match. If I don't feel like wearing it anymore, I try to resell it. There are many apps for that. Or I, I join bazaars and then I try to collaborate with some of my friends so that we can pitch in for one bazaar and then we can sell our secondhand items. Next, I have my mini dresses and my long, long skirts, long bottoms. I'm not afraid to rewear it multiple times. Trust me. I don't think that there's anything wrong with wearing things multiple of times. No one actually will remember unless they're annoying. Like who cares if you wear the same thing? There's nothing wrong with that. Next, I have my shorts, my skirts, I have denim. I actually don't have a lot and I'm trying to build on this, but I really want to look for the right size. Just to be clear, I only started this kind of cycle about two years ago. I stopped shopping at Forever 21, H&M, and any fast fashion brand just because I want to be able to rewear it. So these fast fashion brands are set on trendy pieces. And for me, I want to wear things that are classic and that I can rewear. They're basic. I have my long dresses things I wear for more formal events. Then I also have my three winter coats. I don't have a lot just because I don't live in a cold country. Um, here I have some jumpsuits, which are my favorite. Then you, know, you just slip it on, it's easy. So this is my jacket section. I have about eight pieces right now and I'm trying to build on it. And I'm really trying to look for things that I want to wear multiple times. I already repeated that, but again, things that are basic, things that are rewearable, practical, that I can rewear. Then I have my workout outfits. I have about five long sleeve tops, two short tops, and then five sports bras. I just wear until it wears out. I've had a couple of these for about six years already since college. For example, this Lululemon jacket I've had since college and it's still great. I can still wear it. Um, I wear it for Pilates. And then I have five different outfits that I change and mix and match. So this is my shoe collection. I have on 20 pairs of shoes that I change from. I've built this collection and made sure that these are the pieces that I want to wear for about 10 to 6 years. For a nice pair of heels, I think I can wear it for a really long time. I'm trying to be as sustainable as possible now. I'll give space in my collection for one shoe that is fast fashion. For example, if I really really like that particular style and I don't want to invest in it. I feel like it won't be trendy the next year. I buy that particular shoe and I give that space over here in my shoe collection. But everything else I am willing to wear for about 10 plus years. For example, these are actually secondhand Charlotte Olympia shoes that I purchased in Taiwan. I've had these shoes for about five years now. Just as long as you clean your shoes and take care of them, you can wear them for a long time. I found this really good brand. It's a shoe cleaner. It's, it's called Crep Protect. It comes with a brush and it comes with a liquid and then you just pour it onto the brush and then start brushing your shoes. Obviously, you don't do that every day. You try to do that like every other week. Up here, I have my bags. I have a total of 10 bags that I purchased myself or with my mom that I share with her. It's fine to share bags with your mom. I have a range of bags from big to small. I put them in these pouches because I don't want them to get dirty. And up here are my other bags and I just keep them in boxes because that's what they came in. I realized that I should have kept the other boxes, but they're fine there too. Next, I have my beauty section. I put all my makeup brushes here. I put all my concealer, 
pencil-like items. My beauty blender is here, my palettes are here, anything that I can just reach out for. My first drawer, I have the rest of my makeup that I put. In my second drawer, I have my accessories. I'm not really big on accessories. I wanna find timeless classic pieces, so a lot of them are really delicate and they're simple. I try to veer away from the trendy pieces, and if I do, I'll buy like one or two. Once I don't like it, I probably might sell it, and that's the best way to make the most for your book. Next, I have my glasses section. I only have two pairs that I purchase. I don't go out to the beach that often, so. Here I have my hair tools. I have three types of hair tools. I have my InStyler, which you've seen me do. Then I also have my Glossy, which was my most recent purchase. And then I have my Dyson hair dryer. I have my brushes. These are all from Akakapa. Akakapa, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. And then I have my hair styling tools here. And then a mirror to look at myself when I put on makeup. These are my drawers. My first drawer is for my pajamas. I have four sets of pajamas that I've purchased for myself. One is for my friend and one has my name embroidered on it. it. Looks like this. And if you're thinking pajamas, I actually wear long sleeve pajamas. And then I have my Bombay clothes, my house clothes. Um, these ones I got from Uniqlo. They're very comfortable. Very basic. I have the shorts and then I have a t-shirt that I just wear. And then I have three sets of these and I just interchange. And I'll just keep wearing it and wearing it until there's a hole and something that's really unfixable. I have my uniform for school and then shirts for traveling for school events and then my faculty t-shirts because I teach. Next, I have t-shirts that I've kept from high school. I mean, I look back and I'm like, wow, this is so wasteful. So what I'm thinking now, because I, I don't wear them anymore, is to actually just make it, make it into a blanket. Quilt blankets, all the t-shirt designs. Right here, I have my travel stuff. These are all the things I need to go packing. For example, this is where I can put my shoes. This is from Muji. And I got my bags from the Daily Edited. Makeup pouch and another makeup pouch. Origins facial wash serums that I got from Origins. So I can travel with it. Next, I have my intimates here, which I'm not going to go to. I have my long sleeves here. Then I have my shorts, things that I put that I wear under my dress so that it keeps my tummy sucked and reminds me to just, you know have better posture, which is something I'm working on this year and then also next year. And then last but not least, I have my swimsuit, my socks, long socks, short socks, stockings, um, belts. I only have two belts. And I only have two, two sets of swimsuits because I don't even, I don't swim a lot. This is like an empty section because I kind of broke the bar that's supposed to hang clothes. So I just put like intimates that I really worn out. I'm trying to figure out where I can put this. Obviously you can't donate your intimates because you don't want people wearing your old underwear. Lol, gross. Then I have empty bottles of makeup and facial wash that I've used. Then I also have Q-tip boxes. Like we're so wasteful. And this is what I've accumulated throughout the year. I'm still trying to figure out where I can recycle here in the Philippines. So this is just a reminder for me to figure out what I can do to be as sustainable as possible. So that is my closet and I hope you learned something from it. For me, my tip is to be as sustainable, be practical, try to not get seeped in into that trendy type of environment. I mean, they're just items and it's material. And if you're comfortable in whatever you're wearing and if you feel like it's good, then that should be good enough for you. I'll see you next time.